Who's to blame for acts of terror? Acts of terror seem to be getting more and more frequent by the day. It's a scary feeling not knowing when the next attack will be. This is a timeline of terrorist attacks that took place this year in 2016 by the month. In January of 2016, there were a total of 100 terrorist incidents. In Tripoli, Libya, 300 West African immigrants were rounded up by ISIS and executed. Two huge bomb blasts killed at least 100 people in Sharaban, Iraq. Islamic State militants attacked two neighborhoods in Dair and Zor killing dozens of people in execution-style murder. Mortality estimates to be 135 to over 300. February 2016, there were 71 total terrorist attacks. Islamic State executed over 300 police and army personnel via firing squad. March 2016, there were a total of 109 terrorist attacks. 151 terrorist attacks took place in April of 2016. In Ramadi, Iraq, the remains of 160 people were found in over 50 mass graves after ISIS committed a genocide. 198 total attacks occurred in May of 2016. May 17, 2016, Baghdad bombings. A series of eight attacks in Baghdad that killed many people and wounded more. May 23, 2016, Syrian bombings. Nearly 150 people killed and over 200 people wounded in a series of car bombs and suicide attacks. In June of 2016, there were a total of 216 terrorist attacks. 400 soldiers were found dead with gun wounds. The soldiers were likely executed on an unknown date. They belonged to the Army's 10th Brigade. July 2016, there were a total of 192 terrorist attacks, with over 1,528 people killed and over 2,269 people injured. A large car bomb was set off in the middle of the busy street market in Baghdad, killing 346 civilians and wounding 246 more people. August 2016, there were a total of 145 terrorist incidents. At least 85 people killed and at least 100 people being kidnapped and held hostage after a massacre was carried out by the Islamic State. ISIS also kidnapped over 3,000 people and executed 15 in the same city before the event was listed. The number of attacks and the number of casualties that have taken place are truly frightening. Who do we blame for these attacks? Should we blame religion because of these attacks? Should we blame ISIS for these attacks? ISIS actually has taken credit for most of these attacks, but they do not believe that they're doing anything wrong. In fact, in their minds, they are doing something right. Is religion really bad though? Or is the people twisting the words bad? Religion itself is not bad, but those who use religion to do evil is bad. What can we do to stop these attacks? Well, if a single person could come up with a solution to these problems, they may be rich. Unfortunately, there isn't anything a single person can do as this is a political and national problem. This also raises the question, should we really leave it up to our world leaders to take care of this? ISIS has spread all over the world. ISIS is a huge threat all over the world. This is truly the most frightening part about it all. You never know when and where they will strike. Next, who's to blame for credit card debt? 